Hello, good evening. Uh, and up in here. Okay, good evening um, for the ones that are connected. So good evening, Carla, Salvador, and uh, Carlos Eduardo. Hi, teacher. Ah, Hi. All right, Salvador. You're on your way home? Uh, yes. Okay, that's great. That's great. So be careful in there, right? <laughs> All right. Okay, that's great. Um, so how are you today, Carla? How are you? Tell me. Hi, teacher. Hi. How are you today, Carla? Fine. Uh -huh. Fine? Just fine? fine. Ah. Did you have a hard work, I mean, a hard day in your work? Did you get it, Carla? Me escucha. Yes, yes, I sí, listen to sí. No me agarraba el, el micrófono. <laughs> ah, okay, okay. Do you had a hard day in your work, uh, Carla? Poco. Ah, okay, a little bit. Okay, very good. Uh, let's see, how about um, Joanny? How are you today? Están cayendo. No. Hi, Joanny. No, I'm not making. <laughs> All right. So, how are you today, Joanny? Fine. Fine? Just mm. fine? How was your day? <laughs> how was your day? I'll go best. Nah. <laughs> sí. Yes. Mm. Okay. Okay. All right. It's good to hear that. So how are you, Roxana? Tell us. It was it was a good day today. Was it a good day, Roxana? Hello. All right, I think I think I think she got frozen. Okay. But how about you, Carlos? Uh, I mean, Eduardo. Hello, teacher. Hi, man. How was your day? Fine, teacher. I I happy. Thanks God. Free ah. day. You had a free day? Really? Yeah. Ah, that's great. Okay, that's that's cool. Yeah, I mean, not working. I mean, a, a day off, it's like really, really nice. El fin se va a dejar, teacher. Yeah, finally, finally. But in my case, I mean, tomorrow is like the hardest day for me. It's very difficult to me tomorrow. Today, I had to work. Uh, I just came in here 30 minutes ago. Como hace media hora, like something like that. I just got home. And um, what can I say? Tomorrow I have classes the whole day. I had to work the whole day from 8 in the morning to 5.30 in the afternoon. O sea, ocupado prácticamente todo el día. Basically the whole day. Yes. A little bit. Yeah, like like. A little bit more than eight hours tomorrow. I just imagine. I mean, more than eight hours working. Así son las arcas del estado, entonces, teacher. Ah. Así son las arcas del estado, entonces. Ah. No vamos a ser negociantes ahí de del Bitcoin. ¿Quién quiere ahí invertir ahí que me avise? Y perdamos. No, 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 no. That that that's not. 
No, I mean, uh, yeah, and, and I do really want to work hard because, I mean, my wife is pregnant, so probably in three or four months, she's going to have a baby. So, you know, we need to, to, to save some kind of money in order to, to, to start a new life. Comenzar a develarnos. Yeah, I know. Supongo que es una vida caóticamente hermosa, como dicen en el anuncio. I don't know why. I don't know why. I me cuenta en un par de años. <laughs> Listen, I don't know why. No sé por qué, pero creo que ya los que tienen hijos así como que me hicieron las caritas así como que no. <laughs> como, como, como diciendo, no sabe a lo que se mete. <laughs> o a lo que está a punto de suceder. No, es que depende cómo lo vea, teacher. ¿Y depende? Really? Sí, depende. Eh, por ejemplo, en el matrimonio, usted, usted sabe que los primeros siete años del matrimonio son difíciles. ¿Really? Sí, del octavo en adelante son insoportables. Pero así es. <risa> oh my God, I thought you were about to say something different. Yo creí que iba a decir, no, ya después, o sea, más relax and everything. Oh my God. Esto es puro martirio, Eric. Ahí en el... Ya me asustó. Ya me asustó. Ah, no, tranquilo, tío. son bromas. Yes, I know, man, I know. Siempre para relax. Just relax, relax, relax the body. Exacto. Y en un papelito SOS. Sí, va. En código morse. En código morse. Harme, harme. Exactly. Oh, God. Somebody heard me. <laughs> uh. Yes. So let's see how, how much, how, I mean, how much do I have to, to, to stand that situation? So, miren la carita, pues, de, de Stephanie Janet, así como que, ay. <laughs> si yo también tengo Pero las de niñas, la cabeza, ¿no? <laughs> How many kids do you have, Stephanie? How many kids do you have? Ah, um, solo uno. Only one? Yeah. And that's enough? <laughs> y el parecer es suficiente. <laughs> Hasta ahí. Sí, suficiente. <laughs> How about you? But, yeah. El de pelo, como decía, teacher. Ajá, uh -huh, that's true. That's true. Yo ahorita pues estoy practicando con las clases ahí, en mi etapa de, de, de pre-desvelo. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Ajá, ajá, ajá. Fatima, how many kids do you have? No tengo teacher. No kids? Really? No. No yet? Why not? No, todavía no teacher. Ah, okay. All right. <laughs> yo, yo creí que ya tenía unos cuatro. <laughs> No, aún no, no estoy preparada para eso todavía. Ah, ok, ok. Nice. How about you, Carla? How many kids do you have? One teacher. Only one? Ah, okay. Yes. Ok, that's great. That's y el good. único. Why? I mean, why do you say that? ¿Por qué dicen eso? I mean, por lo menos dos. It's okay, right? No. It's okay. Yeah. El mío adelanta como por cuatro. Good evening, Jonathan. Ah, really? Ah. No, pues no, con razón. Le entiendo. Le entiendo. Yeah. How about you, Joanny? How many, how many kids do you have, Joanny? Yes. How many? Two kids. Ah, two kids? Ah, okay. Yes. That's, 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 that's good, right? Is that kind of a... How many kids? <laughs> How many kids? Like right now, none, all right? But probably in four, yeah, in four months, I'm going to have the first one. In cuatro meses? Yeah, probably. <laughs> oh, okay. Yes, I am going to be a father for the first time. Hmm. 
¿Cómo fue? ¿Cómo fue? Ah. All right. Aprovecha a dormir lo más que pueda, teacher. Ah, sí. Yes. A lot of people have said that to me. Muchos me han dicho eso, que aprovecha a dormir. Nah, a ver. Y los que sustos sí. que se va a llevar, teacher, ay, no. Ya me dieron miedo. Ya le dieron miedo. Ya me dieron miedo. Ya me voy a correr antes de tiempo. Como si se pudiera. Pero anyway. Para decir que antes de los ocho años. Exactly. Oh my God. Mm. Nada, pero ojalá me salga tranquilo como el papá. Y yo me la creo. Re recuerde, teacher, recuerde que todo lo que uno ha hecho en la vida con los hijos lo paga. Oh my God. Ya me asustó. Así Eso sí que... tiene razón usted. ¿Mm? Oh, me doy cuenta yo. <ríe> ya me asusté. <ríe> ok. Ya. Yeah. Well, let's see. I mean, let's see. Vamos a ver qué tal, cómo nos va. Ahí les cuento a futuro cuando ya estemos en un nivel más avanzado y tal vez nos encuentre ahí. Y me vean las grandes ojeras. Ahí. Las grandes ojeras de este lado. <ríe> exactly. <ríe> oh, God. But anyways. Okay, I'm, let, let's start. I am going to press the attendance list and then we are going to start with uh, today's class, okay? Ah, por cierto, gracias eh, por, por completar lo de las tareas. That, I, I really appreciate that. Ya prácticamente uh, como por el 98% de, 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 del 100% que tenemos, um, ya lo han completado. So thank you for that. Gracias de verdad por eso. I do really appreciate it. Um, let's see. Solo hay alguien, just give me a second. Solo hay alguien que tiene, no sé por qué, tiene dos perfiles en la plataforma. Me aparecen dos listados. And it's, uh, let's see. Ah, oh, yeah, it's you, Carlos. And I don't know why. I mean, If... me aparece, me aparece uno como Carlos Eduardo Melgar y el otro simplemente como Carlos Melgar. Sí, lo que pasa es de que era lo que le comentaba eh, la vez anterior, de que no me aparecía el, el curso número 2, el nivel 2. Uh -huh. Entonces, me comuniqué ahí por WhatsApp con, con la persona, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. que está dando soporte. Y me dijo que ingresara nuevamente a mi perfil y que ahí me iba a aparecer. Entonces, eh, no sé qué pudo haber pasado ahí en sistema, ¿verdad? Al Pero momento. ya después... Ya después de ello le apareció. Sí, ahora ya, ya puedo visualizar el, el módulo. Ah, Pero perfecto. El, Pero... el día que comenzamos, se recuerda que le dije que no me aparecía, ¿verdad? Sí, 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 que no le aparecía. Uh -huh. Pero no sé si tendrían que eliminar tal vez alguna opción en el perfil, me imagino. Ajá, sí, en ese caso, el, eh, donde aparece todo su nombre, simplemente lo van a, se va a omitir y se va a tomar el otro que ya, ya le aparecía ahí. Okay. Okay. Por eso no se, no se preocupe. Sí, okay. que de hecho ya me aparece el en uno paso en el otro teacher. <risa> yeah, that would be a good option. Would... De igual manera yo le comenté en mi caso teacher que me aparecía solo el segundo apellido, no el primero. Ajá, ajá, pero en ese caso uh -huh. uh, like like there, there's there won't be problem, any problem. No habrá ningún problema porque en los listados es tomado de los listados, entonces acá en los en los listados que tengo sí aparece su nombre a uh, completo, Eric. Ah, ok. Sí, sí, déjeme ver. Sí, Eric Guillermo Herrera Humansor, ¿cierto? Exacto, teacher. No problem with that. Aquí ya lo tengo en la lista de asistencias, tal, tal y como debe de ser, ¿ok? Ok, so, thank you, teacher. All right, no problem about that. Ok, good. Let's start with the tennis list. Let's see, Amilcar Gustavo. No, here, right? Ok, uh, Ana Claribel. Hmm. Ayana has not connected. Okay. Let's see, Ana María. Hey, me dirá Ana María. Okay. Ah, uh, Carlos Eduardo. Presente, teacher. 
Ah, ok. Very good. Uh, Eric Guillermo. Present teacher. Ok, very good. Let's see, Stephanie Janet. Present. Ok, perfect. Uh, Fatima Alejandra. Present. Ah, ok. Delmar Cruz. Present. Ah, ok. Ahí. Jonathan Alexander. Jonathan. Ah, ok. Thank you, Jonathan. Carla Benacer. Present. Ah, ok. Natalie Vanessa. Present. Ah, por fin está acá. Ah. <risa> ya le iba a decir, o oh, yo vine tarde o oh, usted vino tarde, pero ya dije la hora, la hora. Así que yo. Estamos bien, ¿verdad? Yes. <risa> ok. Romeo Alexis. Present. Ok. Rosa del Carmen. Present. Ah, ok. There you go. Uh, let's see, Roxana Yesenia. Ah, ok, Roxana, no sé si me escucha. Bueno, no le escuché muy bien, pero supongo que es la que tiene problemas, ¿cierto? Eh, con, con el internet. All right. Cortado, pero estoy presente. Nice. Thank you. Let's see, Salvador Alfonso. Present teacher. Ah, okay, very good. Thank you, man. Stephanie Adeline, no here. Stephanie Lisette. Okay, no, I need. No se conectado todavía. Okay. Let's see. William Alberto. Okay, no here yet. And the last one, Joanny Noemi. Present. Ah, okay. Very good. So let's just start with the things that we're going to have for today. Uh, let's see. Who says, ah, okay. Give me a second, Carlos. I will do it like right now then. Okay, give me a second. I'm going to send the presentation that you are asking for. Okay, what do we got is PowerPoint. All right, it is uploading. Okay, yeah, there you go. So you got the presentation now, the one that we're gonna be working, be working right now. Okay, entonces, les acabo de mandar ya al grupo uh, la presentación. Okay, la videoconferencia, la, la diapositiva con la cual vamos a estar trabajando. Uh, since today is Friday, okay, what are we gonna do? We're gonna basically be practicing the whole topics that we have been discussing during the week. Okay. Like how come? Uh, it says, this is the video conference number five. All right, the topic is going to be simple present review and practice. Como el tema lo dice, ahora vamos a ver un pequeño repaso de los temas principales en cuanto al uso del presente simple, lo que hemos estado viendo, and also, we're going to do some practice activities, okay? That is going to be this class based on. Entonces, básicamente vamos a hacer un poco más de práctica y vamos a, 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 a retomar un poco los temas que hemos estado viendo nada más para refrescar un poco antes de hacer la práctica, okay? So that's pretty much what we're going to be doing during this uh, video conference. So let's start. So a little bit the class agenda that we're going to have. 
the first top uh, or thing that we're going to be doing is we're going to review okay the previous topic from last class from the last video conference then we're going to talk a little bit about affirmative statement okay we're going to start talking or providing example using affirmative statements then we are going to move on to negative statements vamos a ver o vamos a recordar un poco cómo usar las oraciones negativas cómo usar el don't cuando utilizar el doesn't okay and all those things uh, we're going to recheck the time expressions okay vamos a ver algunos ejemplos para refrescar un poco ese tema con relación a las time expressions más que todo para colocar para saber el lugar donde se colocan dentro de una oración and finally we're going to end up using how much and how many okay vamos a hacer un pequeño repaso igual proveyendo algunas oraciones y preguntas so this is pretty much what we have for this class so básicamente es parte de lo que tenemos para el, uh, para esta videoconferencia okay let's see in a second let's move on affirmative statements remember when we talk about simple present si recordamos decíamos que usamos el presente simple para hablar sobre qué sobre actividades cotidianas sobre actividades que nosotros hacemos todos los días y es normal para nosotros hacerlas one of them is go to work okay so you easily can say, I go to work every day. That is an activity, a normal activity that is part of your daily routine. What other activities are part of your daily routine? Example, I wake up at, in my case, I wake up at 4.45 in the morning. That is normal for me to do it. Yeah, too early. <laughs> Okay, uh, that's something normal. So I have lunch at seven o'clock. I mean, breakfast at seven o'clock. So you see, that is another activity that I normally do every day. And basically, it's normal for me to do it. So as I have mine, you have yours. Así como yo tengo las mías y es normal para mí hacerlo. Ustedes también tienen eh, diferentes actividades que ya es normal para ustedes el poderlas hacer. ¿Ok? And what do we need in order to create those sentences? ¿Qué necesitamos básicamente para crear ese tipo de oraciones? Easy. Necesitamos básicamente de la estructura del presente simple. ¿Y cuál es esa estructura? We got it in here. Very simple and easy. Subject. We got the subject. Recordemos que cuando hablamos de subject, hablamos de pronombres y nombres propios. Pronouns and proper nouns. Ok. Then we got verb. Ok. The one that indicates the action that we do. And then we have complement. ¿Para qué ocupamos un complemento? Siempre hemos dicho, lo necesitamos para hacer la oración más específica. Right, we need it to make the sentence more specific, and that's the structure that we got there. Example, Eric, read the example. I like my job. Okay, I like my job. That is a very short example, but a complete sentence. Why? Because it contains, it uses the subject. That in this case is the pronoun I. Then the verb. In the case, the verb is like. And then the complement, my job. I like my job, right? That is an affirmative statement or positive statement. Another example, Carla, read this example for me, please. You have meetings. You have meetings. Meetings. Yeah, okay, very good. So that's another very, very simple example. You see, you, which is the subject, have is the verb, 
and meetings. That's the complement of the sentence. Okay, that is the complement. You have meetings, right? Another one, Jonathan. Read. They repair. Okay. Yeah, the, the M is missing. Yeah, computer. I don't know why. I double check this thing. Okay, uh, they repair computers. The M is missing, okay? They computer. Computers. Exactly. C O M P U T. Okay. E R S. That's the one. The M is missing. Okay, next one. Uh, Mrs. Janet, read it, please. Okay, we practice English. Okay, we practice English. There's another very uh, common affirmative statement. Pronoun or subject, then the verb in that case is practice, and then we got the word English, that is the complement. Okay, a very, very easy complement. I think that's the one that we got. Okay, these examples are only in first person, second person, and plural. Remember that we don't have third person in here. Okay. We don't have third person examples in here. This is just about first person, second person, and third person. Okay. Only those ones. Very good. Any question up to now? Alguna duda hasta acá? Something that might not be clear for you? I know this topic is kind of easy for everybody because we have been discussing this before all right i think everybody is okay right now <laughs> okay let's continue since i told you that this basically um uh, are, are uh, sentences in first second and plural now let's jump a little bit and talk about per person affirmative statements okay acá pues ya son cuando usamos las terceras personas and what is the structure? The structure is like a very, very, very slight difference in comparison to, to the other ones. Why? Because in here we got subject, okay, plus verb, but the verb, remember, pero en este caso recordemos, el verbo puede llevar S, E, S, or I, E, S, depending on the verb of the verb, okay? Dependiendo del verbo, puede llevar cualquiera de esas terminaciones. Okay. And then we got the complement. Example of it. Hilmar, read the first one. She goes to work every day. Okay. She goes to work every day. So you see, ahí ya no simplemente tenemos el verbo go. Okay, ya le agregamos ES al verbo. We add ES to the verb. And we say, she goes to work every day. So, in that case, we need the ES to the verb. ¿Y por qué necesitamos ES? Porque la regla nos dice que todo verbo que termine en O se le agrega ES en tercera persona. Okay? Good. Let's continue. Let's see, uh, Rosa del Carmen, read for me, please. He needs a new car. Mm. Okay, very good. He needs a new car. If you take a look in there, the word needs, you got the S, okay? Needs, right? He needs a new car. Next one. Ah, Ana Maria, see here. Bien calladita entró. Uf. Ah, se acaba de conectar. Okay, let's see. Read, Ana Maria. Rina is studying English. Studies? Studies English. Very good. Karina studies English. So, acá, si ven, ya es un verbo que se modifica y se le coloca I, E, S, o I, E, S. ¿Cuándo sucede esto, uh, Fátima? ¿Cuándo sucede este cambio, Fátima? Tell me. 
Eh, ¿Cuándo sucede el cambio de el verbo estar? Uh, ¿Y ese? Yes. Ah, es porque eh, el verbo eh, lleva una I, 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 una Y. Uh -huh. Termina en Y, por eso se cambia a I, E, S. Y anteriormente está una consonante, no una vocal. Uh, no sé. Ajá, cochín, sí. ¿Y por qué es en tercera persona? Ok, very good. Thank you, Fatima. Yeah, basically what Fatima says, it's true. Ok. Todo verbo que termine en Y, pero antes de la Y, lleve una consonante, esté una consonante, ese verbo se le elimina la Y y se coloca I, E, S. ¿Ok? Remember that. Y todo aquel verbo que termine en Y, pero antes de la Y vaya una vocal, no se sufre esa modificación. Simplemente se le coloca una S al verbo. ¿Ok? Tal es el caso como el verbo play. ¿Ok? So we got place, okay, with the S. ¿Por qué? Porque termina en Y y antes de la Y va la vocal A. Okay, just, just, just to put it that way. Okay, that's why it suffers these changes. Remember, these changes only happen in third person. Okay, only in third person. Okay, cool. Let's continue now. Natalie, read for me. Marcos has a lot of work. Okay, Marcos has a lot of work or a lot of work, as you said. Okay, in that case, if you see, the verb changes completely. Acá si el verbo sufre un cambio muy significativo porque es uno de los verbos más irregulares. Bueno, no más irregular, pero es uno de los verbos que cambia su estructura en tercera persona. Recordemos, have, have, para primera, segunda y plurales. But has in third person or singular nouns. Okay? That's a completely different structure. Okay? And that's pretty much what we have when we use, okay, when we use these type of statements. Good. Do we have any question up to now? ¿Alguna pregunta hasta acá? Because if you don't have questions, I will ask questions. Porque si ustedes no me preguntan, yo les voy a preguntar. From now on. Okay, just to see if you know. Hmm. Sure. Yes. Eh, entonces, cuando... Eh, vaya, originalmente el verbo es have, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. eh, cuando son terceras personas... En las oraciones afirmativas, entonces sufre ese cambio, ese verbo. That's correct. Yes. En este okay. caso ya no se coloca have, se coloca has. Cuando usamos he, she, or it, or a proper name, or proper noun, but only one. For example, Fatima. Or for example, the example that we got there, okay? But only one person. It suffers that changes. Okay, let's continue with this. This is just, okay, a review. Remember, use a review about positive statements. Okay, let's put that into context. Now, let's jump into negative statements. That's different, the other side of the coin. Okay, with negative statements. What do we need in negative statements? Quien me ayuda, por favor, un voluntario. ¿Qué necesitamos para crear oraciones en negativo? What do we need? How is the structure? Das. Any volunteer? ¿Algún voluntario? Subject. Uh -huh. Ok, William. Not. Ok. Target, we, we, okay. Auxiliar, verbo y complemento. Ok. Ok, vamos a comenzar en orden. William dijo algo Subject. Muy importante. Ajá, subject. Then. Not or don't. El auxiliar. En este caso sería el auxiliar, que en este caso sería el que dice Jonathan y Joanny. Don't o do not separado. Ok, 
do not. Main Second verb. Time. And then complement. we got main verb, verbo principal, and then we got complement. complement. Okay, yeah. very good. All right, that's the structure. So you see, we got subject, we got don't, que recordemos, ese don't es el auxiliary verb, do, and then we got not. Okay, and then we got verb or verbo principal, and then we got complement. And we got one example in here. Let's see who can help me out reading that example. Janet, help me out, please. Okay. Yes, you. Um, I don't have money. I don't have money. Very good. Remember, <laughs> positive statement. I have money. money. Okay. Negative statement. I don't have money. All right. Eso es como el día de pago. Ah, I have money. Un día después, I don't have money. <laughs> yeah. Después de pagar todos los, los, los bills. <laughs> y cuando sobra algo, dice, ay, que no pagué. <laughs> okay. I like something like that. Okay. Let's continue. Let's see. Ah, Mrs. Urrutia is in here. Ah, se acaba de conectar también. Uh, read, Mrs. Urrutia. Hace ratito me conecté. Sí, like tres minutos. Atrás. You don't go to church. Okay, you don't go to church. Okay, that's a second person example. Okay, it's like if I say to Romeo, hey Romeo, you don't go to church, man. So you see, that's a, a second person example. Okay, and we still use don't. Ok, don't. Recordemos que ahí está contractado el do plus not. Si yo quiero hacer oraciones negativas, bien formales, tendría que separar el do del not. Remember that, ok? Y sería, you do not go to church. That's very formal. Ok, but in here, this is like informal to say like that. Hey, you don't go to church. And that's the example. Romeo, read the example, please. We don't have a big house. Okay, very good. We don't have a big house. Okay, there you go. So, remember, tenemos la misma estructura. Si ven, no cambiamos. Lo que cambiamos son los pronombres y el verbo y, uh, y el complemento. Okay, we don't have a big house. Okay, there you go. And let's see, uh, this is gonna be the last one, I think. Roxana, read the example, please. They don't do their homework. Ah, okay, very good. So they don't do their homework. Ellos no hacen su tarea. There you go. Okay. Ah, by the way, talking about homework. Romeo, hablando de tarea, este, le faltan algunos puntitos para llegar al 100%. Check it, please. Okay. Ajá. Eso es una duda con respecto a la rutina. Solo eran tres temas, son los que se han visto, ¿verdad? Yeah, I think, it's, yeah, just three. Eh, ah, en, okay. la, en, la, en la fase de progreso, revise, revise ahí específicamente dónde es que sea sea medio equivocado y podemos practicar esa misma sección, ¿ok? To get the 100%. Ah, okay. 100%. Very good. Okay, so, okay. they don't do their homework. So, negative statement using plural. Remember, we have first person, second person, and plurals in there. ¿Ok? That's the one that we got there. Now, let's do it, but in third person. ¿Ok? Negative statements in third person. Si acá usábamos don't, okay, in here, we're going to use the third person structure, which is subject. And in this case, we use doesn't, okay. Recordemos que el do, okay, en tercera persona se le agrega es. ¿Por qué? Porque la regla nos dice que todo verbo que termine en o, ¿qué sucede? Se le agrega ES, ¿ok? So, from do, 
becomes into does. Okay? Y ya junto con el not se transforma en doesn't. And then we got the verb and the complement. And we got the example. William, help me out reading the example, please. Uh, she doesn't. I work in Pizza Hub. Repeat again, William. Uh, she doesn't work in Pizza Hub. Okay, very good. Thank you. So you see, she doesn't work in Pizza Hut. Acá, ¿en qué tenemos que enfocarnos? Listen up. Listen. En oraciones afirmativas, and I'm going to say this in Spanish to be clear. En oraciones afirmativas, nosotros decimos, she works in Pizza Hut. Con la S en el verbo work. ¿Ok? Con la S en el verbo work. In affirmative statements. Pero acá, como el Auxiliary verb es el que está haciendo la acción transformándose, okay, agregando, agregándose ES, ya es, no es necesario que el verbo principal sufra esa modificación. Ok, so the main verb remains the same, permanece intacto, lo mismo. Ok, so she doesn't work in Pizza Hut. So let's see, if we got another, uh, another one in here. Uh, and for this one, I want Ah, Amilcar is here. Amilcar, read the, the, the example. He doesn't play chess. Okay, he doesn't play chess. Does everybody know what is chess? Oh, no, I don't know. <laughs> what is chess? That's a board game. That's a board game. In that chess, we got a, we have a king, we have a queen, we have a, exactly. Oh, it is chess. That's chess. Yeah, very good. Okay, perfect. So he doesn't play chess. So you see, the verb play remains. In that case, we don't add s, e s, or i e s. Nothing about that. Okay. Next one. Let's see, Carlos Eduardo, read, read it. It doesn't work. Okay, it doesn't work. Very good. All right, it doesn't work. In that case, listen up. En esta oración puede ser interpretada de muchas maneras. Remember, it lo usamos para cosas inanimadas o cosas que no tienen vida, ok? Dependiendo de lo que estemos hablando, así va a ser el tipo de, de oración en que en este caso... Vamos a darle sentido. Supongamos que estamos con el teléfono, with the phone, right? And suddenly I'm texting and the phone dies. Y el teléfono muere. Y yo digo, it doesn't work. Okay? Es lo mismo como decir, my phone doesn't work. Okay? En vez de decir, my phone, lo sustituyo por el pronombre it. Okay? ¿Por qué? Porque mi teléfono no, no tiene vida. Es algo inanimated, right? So that's why I got it doesn't work. Entonces, esta, esta oración acá puede ser aplicada en todo aspecto. How come? Con tal sea singular y estemos hablando de objetos, podemos utilizarla. Another thing. Ah, my car broke down. I was driving and finally shut down. And it doesn't work. You see? It doesn't work. Okay, we can apply that too. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> okay, so in that case, remember, with an animated object, we use it. Okay, no sé si tienen alguna pregunta con relación a esta, al it. Something that might not be clear for you. Because later on, we're going to do a practice. And I need this to be clear. Everything is fine? Okay, nice. Let's continue. Ah, let's see, Eric, read. Emily doesn't have a cell phone. Emily doesn't have a cell phone. Okay, very good. So in that case, if you take a look in there, Ya ahí, pues, podemos sustituir el pronombre she por un nombre propio, with a proper noun, okay? 
And we got Emily doesn't have a cell phone. Okay, good. Uh, Carla, if that sentence were positive, how it would be in positive? That, that example. Emily. Mm -hmm. Emily. 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 Uh, I have a cell phone. Mm. No. Verdad. En este caso, ya no diría, ya diría I, Carla. Sí, sí, Emily, sí. Emily, luego sigamos la estructura. Recordemos, subject, verb, As complement. Emily. Has. Ok. Ok. Ajá. A cell phone. Very good. Emily has a has. cell phone. Very good. En este caso acá ya no iría have, iría has. has. ¿Ok? ¿Por qué? Porque ya el verbo ya estaría modificado en tercera persona. ¿Ok? Pero acá, como el auxiliar, repito, el auxiliar es quien hace la acción de la tercera persona, el do que era antes, cambiamos a does, por eso ya el verbo principal ya tiene que permanecer sin modificación. Por eso se coloca have. ¿Ok? Emily doesn't have a cell phone. All right. Thank you, Carla, by the way. And we got the last one. And for the last one, I want Salvador to help me out. Um, next is, is John and doesn't need free time. Ah, okay. Very good. John doesn't need a free time. There you go. So in that case, we got John, which is the subject, doesn't, the auxiliary verb, interperson. And then we got need, the base form of the verb. And free time is the complement. Okay. That is the complement. Good. Any question? Any question so far? Mientras sea nada más una persona, imposible. Oh. Usted puede decir Emily and John. Don. Ah. Don't have. Ahí sí se utiliza don't. ¿Por qué? Porque ya no hablo de una persona. Hablo de dos personas. Emily and John. They both together. But if you only talk about only one person, one place, or one thing, no you use doesn't. And okay. we got the main verb. Yeah. That's in that, situ in that situation. Good. Any other question? Uh, teacher, in the case of John, and positive. Positive. Ah, positive. easy. We eliminate doesn't, and you add the S to the verb need. So we got John needs free time. And that's in positive. Yes. You eliminate doesn't. Okay. okay. You, eliminate. you eliminate the auxiliary. And you okay. got only John needs free time. And that's okay. it. Yeah. Thanks, teacher. Okay. Very good. You're welcome. Okay. Nice. Let's continue with the things that we got. Let's see. Okay. Bien. Ahora vamos a hacer una pequeña práctica con esto. Okay. We're going to do a short practice. How are we going to do? We're going to do something easy and practical right now. I will give you one minute. Listen up. I will give you one minute for you to write a sentence in positive. Quiero que me escriban una oración ahorita en positivo. Okay? About any activity, but a positive sentence. Positive sentence using first person. First person. Okay? My example. I go to work at 6 a.m. That's my example. Using first person and positive. 
So let me know when you finish. Something mm. easy, okay? Something easy. Finish. Sorry. Okay. Finish. Okay. All right. Nice. Como vamos a hacer la práctica? Listen up. This is gonna be easy, but very practical. Okay. How come? Vamos a comenzar la práctica conmigo. How come? Listen. Yo voy a le voy a decir mi oración en primera persona, afirmativo. Okay. Carla will repeat my example, but using per person, affirmative, okay? In per person, but affirmative. And Eric is going to repeat the same example, okay? The same example, but using negative in third person, okay? Are we following? Vamos comprendiendo? Um, voy a mencionar, yeah. voy a decir, voy a repetir mi oración, ¿ok? okay. Carla, uh -huh. Carla va a repetir mi oración, pero en tercera persona, ¿ok? Y Eric va a repetir la oración, pero en ah. negativo. ¿Ok? Let's put it that way. Ok, Carla, are you okay. ready? Teacher. Yes, yes, teacher. Right. Yes. Ajá, Rosa, tell me. Este, pero cuando dice que va a repetir en la, la oración, pero en negativo sería en primera o en tercera persona ahí. Ah, ok, en third person. Third person. Uh -huh. Example. Supongamos que yo digo, I go to work at 7 a.m. Ah, Carla va a decir, he goes to work at 7 a.m. Y Eric va a repetir. He doesn't work at 7 a.m., ¿ok? Simple. Ahí estamos practicando tres estructuras a la misma, a la, a la misma, a la misma vez. Ok, let's start. Carla, I go to the supermarket every Sunday. Um, I go to the Repeat, please. I go to the supermarket every Sunday. Okay, uh, he go, he go doesn't and the supermarket Sunday. Okay, repeat it again. He, he go doesn't. All right, Carlita, and... Carlita, Carlita. Aquí está la estructura, look. Ahí la tiene, en pantalla. Si yo le digo, I go to the supermarket, and I'm, I'm going to put it, this is, this is the structure. Give me a second. This is the structure. I go to the supermarket every Sunday. Say it in third person. Okay. He, he goes... To the oh, supermarket. He goes. He goes. To the, the sent in the supermarket. Okay, repeat. He goes. Oh, he goes. To the supermarket. To the supermarket. Every Sunday. Every Sunday. Ah, okay, good. Eric, negative. It, uh, he doesn't go to the supermarket on Sunday. Every Sunday. Every, every Sunday. <laughs> okay, very good. Carla, now I want you to read your example, Carla. Lea su ejemplo en, tercera, uh, en primera persona. Okay. Okay. I like my cell phone. I like my cell phone. Eric. Third person positive. I, I like my cell phone, dijo. Yes. 
Hey, don't like the she, cell phone. She. 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 Uh -huh. In third person, positive. Positive. She, positive. she like no. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Sorry. Uh, she likes the cell phone. She likes her cell phone. She likes. Uh -huh. Okay, repeat. Her cell phone. Yeah. Ah, okay, very good. Fatima, do it the negative. She doesn't like the cell phone. Okay, okay. Thank you, Carla. Now, Eric, first person, read your example. Last one, Eric. Ahorita, teacher. I walk to bus stop. I walk to the bus stop. Okay, very good. Fatima, to the bus stop. Mm -hmm. Positive third, third person. Repeat, please. Yeah. Pay attention. I walk to the bus stop. Walk to the bus stop. He walks to the bus stop. Very good. Hilmar, mention the, the negative. Yes, bus stop. She he does go, she doesn't he go, doesn't uh -huh, uh, go. go to bus stop the bus stop okay he doesn't go uh, I mean walk to the bus stop okay very good thank, thank you me. Eric now Fatima read your example I play soccer on Friday. Okay, I play soccer on Friday. Hilmar, do it in positive third person. Hilmar, are you there? She plays soccer. Okay, continue. I play soccer on Friday. Ah, okay. Uh, she plays soccer on Sunday. Friday, Friday. A ah, Friday. <laughs> yes. Okay, okay, good. Uh, Mrs. Rutia. Read the third person negative. Read, read the, the, um, the sentences. <laughs> Come on, pay attention. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Repeat the sentences. Please. I play soccer on Friday. She doesn't play soccer on Friday. Okay, very good. Now, Hilmar, read your example. Thank you, Fatima. Uh, I play chess. I play chess. Very good. I Stephanie. play chess. He, he plays chess. Okay, easy, right? Joanny. <laughs> Negative. Um, he doesn't play 
Lo último sí no lo escuché. Chess. Yes. Uh, she doesn't play chess. Repeat the example. She does she doesn't he, play chess. All right. He doesn't he remember not she he it's ah, he he <laughs> 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 and he doesn't play chess. Okay, very good. Thank you, Elmore. Okay. <laughs> Ya le estaban cambiando así. <laughs> ok. This is Rutia. Read your example. I eat pupusa every Sunday. Ok, good. Joanny, third person, positive. Sí. Mm, repeat, please. I eat pupusa every Sunday. Sí. It, it pupusa sí. On Sunday. Okay, she eats pupusas mm -hmm. on Sunday. On Sunday. Okay, good. Ana Maria, negative. She doesn't uh, pupusas every Sunday, dijo. Repeat again. See, Ana every Maria. Sunday. <laughs> Repeat again, Ana Maria. La <laughs> No, no, no. She, she doesn't. She doesn't. Pupusas. She doesn't eat pupusas every Sunday. Ah, ya ve que le faltaba algo. Ah. Se me olvidó el eat. <laughs> Lo más importante. Okay. Good. Thank you, Stefan. I mean, Miss Mrs. Urrutia. Now, Joanny, read your example. I go to the market on Saturday. Okay, I go to the market on Saturday. Ana Maria, third person positive. Otra vez yo. Yes. Please repeat. <laughs> Everybody has been participating like that. I go to the market on Saturday. She go to she go to the market on Saturday. Repeat one more time, Ana Maria. She go <laughs> to the market in Saturday in Saturday. She goes to the market on Saturday. Okay, very good. Amilcar, negative. She doesn't go to the market on Saturday. Very good. Thank you, Joanny. Now, Ana Maria, read your example. I go to the mall in the night. At night. At night. Okay, night. good. Amilcar. I go to, to, to the mall at night. Okay. I go to the mall at night. Repeat again, Amilcar. I'm sorry. She goes to the mall at night. Okay, she goes to the mall at night. Okay, yeah. nice. Thank you, Ana Maria. Amilcar, read your example. Okay. I play football. Okay, wait, 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 wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Okay. You, you just said, all right, the example in third person. But I want Carlos Eduardo to do it in negative. I was forgetting the negative one. Okay. She doesn't go to the I don't to the mall. Is is how many? Perdón. ¿Qué significa esa esa palabra? El el algo que ella dice al final que no logro comprender. No sé si es por el por mi audio. No sé. Okay. Pero, 
va en la oración, en negativa sí sé que va, she doesn't go to the, y esa palabra no la escucho bien. Ah, ok, to the mall. To the mall. Yeah, at night. At night, ok. Repito entonces. Mm -hmm. She doesn't go to the mall at night. Very good, very good. Now, Amilka, read your example now. I play football with my son every Sunday. Every Saturday. Carlos, do you listen? Hello? So, yeah. I play football with my son every Sunday. I don't know why. I, I mean, I don't know why. I, I think the. I, I don't know if it is the microphone, or 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 or, or what. But it se le escucha como cortado. That's cortado. the thing. Okay. Uh, so yeah, I play football with my son every Saturday. I play football. Yeah. With my son every Saturday. Ah, I play football with my son on Saturdays, right? Correcto. Ah, okay, very good. But football, by football, you mean American uh, American football? American football, yes. Okay, like when you throw the ball and football catches and, and go. Ah, okay, good. Yeah. Carlos, <laughs> Carlos, third person positive. Ok, como son the two person, tendría que ser they play football, porque dice I play. Mm -hmm. He doesn't, he doesn't mention, he doesn't say we. Dice, no dice we, ahí sí serían los dos en la, a la misma vez. Él dice que juega con alguien más. So, la oración es. Sigue siendo, a uh, I mí, mean, in that case, tendría que ser en tercera persona. Ok, pero lo que pasa es que lo, donde le comprendí, teacher, era es que él juega con el hermano, hasta donde entendí. Con Porque su dices, hijo. Ah, con su hijo. With Estamos son. hablando de dos personas. Mm -hmm. Ajá, entonces ahí, ¿cómo podría ser? She, he, it, y no they. In that, sí. case, in that case, sería he, y luego sí. plays football mm -hmm. with his son. Ah, ok. You see? Ok, 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 ok. Ahí me, me, me confundí porque yo lo que iba a hacer es ir a los dos, a los Ajá, dos que juegan. to make it plural, to make it plural. Sí, exacto. Ajá. Bueno, entonces sería... Eh, Amilcar uh -huh. eh, plays, uh -huh. ¿sí? plays the football, football uh -huh. with your son, tendría que ser ahí, ¿verdad? His son, his, his son. His son, on Sunday, creo que, ¿verdad? On Saturday. Yes. On Saturday. Okay. Very good. Uh, Salvador, do it negative. ¿Me puede repetir la, la oración? Ok, Carlos Eduardo, do it in third person, please. Sí, la, la oración es de Amilcar y dice I play soccer with my son on Saturday. Ok. Or, o on no lo entiendo. On Saturday. On Saturday. No, Saturday. Mm -hmm. Negativo. Sí. Eh, y he not plays eh, play soccer while your son on Saturday. Look, 
Ah, give me a second, give me a second. This is a structure, Salvador. Ponga toda la oración en esa estructura, Salvador. Roger, he. He. Doesn't. Mm -hmm. Play soccer. Football. Perdón. Football. No, Not no soccer. Football. <laughs> <Not soccer. laughs> eh. Right? With? With your son? His son? Ah, uh, his son? Okay, very good. Very good. Now, Carlos Eduardo. All right, thank you, Milcar. Carlos Eduardo, read your example now. Uh, Salvador, pay attention. Okay. And Natalie. I play soccer. On Sunday. Okay, very good. Salvador. I play soccer on Sunday. Yeah. Do it third, in third person. Uh, he he play soccer on Sunday. Okay. Remember the S. He plays plays uh, plays soccer on Sunday. Okay. Very good, Salvador. Now, Natalie, do it negative. He doesn't play soccer on Sunday. Okay, very good. Thank you, Carlos. Now, Salvador, read your example. And prepare Natalie and then Mrs. Janet. Salvador. Uh, Um, I like I like to to read yeah. Saturday. I like to read on Saturday. I'm oh, sorry. Ah, okay, very good. Natalie. Uh, he he he. I know. Repítame la pregunta. No la escuché muy bien. I like. I like. He likes real. Real. Mm -hmm. uh, on uh, Saturday. He likes real on Saturday. Okay, very good. Janet. <laughs> he don't read on Saturday. Repeat again, Janet. He don't read on Saturday. Are you sure it's don't? Uh, don't or that's in, in negative, no? Ah, pero he doesn't read. Ah, okay, doesn't. He doesn't. Okay, very doesn't good. doesn't read on Saturday. Okay, very good. Thank you, Salvador. Now, Natalie, read your example. And uh, uh, let's see, Rosa del Carmen, pay attention. I like practice boxing. Okay, I like to practice boxing. Okay. Mrs. Janet, do it in third person. Uh please <laughs> I like to practice boxing okay uh, she like the practice uh, boxing okay she likes to practice. <laughs> okay let's make a parenthesis mrs Rutia, what you have in your hand can have some money okay <laughs> that was funny <laughs> Ah. Estaban haciendo colochos. Ah, ok. Ok. Yo creí que eran, 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 eran pequeñas cositas para meter los dedos por el frío. O something like that. Ok, forget about it. Ah, Rosa. Ah, ok. 
Okay. Rosa, make it negative. <laughs> she doesn't like practice boxing. Okay, very good. Mrs. Janet, I want you to read your example. And mm -hmm. uh, get prepared. Uh, I go. Uh -huh. Okay, okay, continue. I go to the church at 6 a.m. Rosa, make it uh, in third person. Janet? Mm, I go to the church at 6 a.m. She goes to the church at 6 a.m. Okay, very good. Jonathan, make it negative. Jonathan, are you there? Yes, I'm here. Okay, all right. Make it negative. Repeat, please. Uh, I go to the shirt at 6 a.m. He goes to the shirt at... Third person negative. Negative, okay. He... She... She doesn't go... Go to the chart at 7 a.m. Okay. Okay. 6 a.m. 6 a.m. actually. She said 6 a.m. Okay, good. Uh, let's see. Thank you, Janet. Now, Rosa, read your example. And Jonathan will make it positive in third person. I listen to music every day. Okay, I listen to music every day. Jonathan? C person. Yes. Uh, she listen negative. Positive. She she doesn't listen to positive, music. Positive. Positive. Uh, she she listen. Listens. Listens. To music. Every. Every day. Every, every day. Okay. Very good. Very nice. Okay. Thank you, uh, Rosa. Uh, let's see. And let's put the negative one to Romeo. Are you there? We're going to end up. We need three more people. Romeo. Uh, es que me, me acabo sin carga, andaba buscando el cargador. Ah. Eh, no sé si puede repetir la exploración. Ok, ok, Rosa, do the favor, please. I listen to music every day. I listen to music every day. Very good. Eh, Sería en negativo. Okay, okay, uh, yeah, negative third person. Ah, okay. Uh, she doesn't uh -huh. listen, listen to music every day. Very good, Romeo. Very good. Thank you, uh, Rosa. Now, Jonathan, read your example. And Romeo, pay attention. It will be positive third person. Uh, Jonathan, you got the microphone off. Oh, uh, <clears throat> tercera persona. Yes, I uh, mean, first person. Lea su ejemplo. Romeo lo va a hacer en tercera persona. Ah, okay. Uh, um, I like drink coffee in the morning. Ah, okay. Um, she likes the coffee in the morning. Sí. ¿Qué pasó? ¿Qué pasó? Sí. Ah, sí, es cierto, es cierto. Sí. Eh, perdón, perdón. Es he... Ok, very good, Romeo. He likes the coffee in the morning. 
Roxana, make it negative. I, I, I thought she was uh, sleeping. Negative, uh -huh. Yes, negative. Uh -huh. Okay. Roxana? Ah, ok, simplemente Jonathan ha hecho una oración o ha leído una oración en primera persona sobre él. Usted me la va a hacer negativa, esa, esa oración, pero en tercera persona. ¿Y podría repetirlo otra vez, Jonathan? Ok, Jonathan, read it once again, please. A little bit faster, because we need to move on. Uh, I like drink coffee in the morning. I like to drink coffee in the morning. They, he, they drink coffee in the morning. Okay. He likes we like the coffee in the morning. All right, no, not we, Roxana. He, he, el, he, el. Mm -hmm. He, he like we morning in the coffee. All right, to drink coffee in the morning. To drink coffee in the morning. She ah. likes to drink coffee in the morning. Very good. Ok, now. Ahora quiero, Rosana, que escuche la oración que le va a mencionar Romeo y usted me la va a transformar en tercera persona en positivo. Romeo, read your example. Ok. I like friends. Friends. I like friends. Friends. Eh, me gustan las papas fritas. ¿Me gustan las papas fritas? Sí. Ok. I like French fries. Ah, ok. I like French fries. Ok. All right, Roxana. Quiero que me hagas ahora en tercera persona. En tercera persona. Yes. It says, he likes like doesn't. No, listen, listen. Positive. positive, Roxana. He likes, repeat. Roxana. I think she has problems with the internet. Ah, okay. All right. Um, no sé, creo que se perdió. William, let's do it, please. Yeah, because I think she got problems with the internet. I drink, uh -huh, I drink soda in the night. I drink soda in the night. Okay, good. Thank you, William. Uh, okay. Ana Garcia, let, let's, let's do it in third person positive. Is he like he drinks soda in the light? Like, creo que dijo por último. Night. No le escuché muy bien. Yes, in the night. In the light. Ah, okay. okay, but actually, it should be at night, all right? But, but let, let's leave it like that. Okay, uh, we're going to end up and we're going to stop in here because we need to move on with the other topics that we have to practice. Okay, now let's move on. But before we move on, I need to pass the attendance list. I need to pass the second attendance list. Give me a second. Okay, give me a second. I'm just going to pass the attendance list a little bit. Uh, let's see, Amilcar Gustavo. Present. Very good. Ana Claribel. Present. Perfect. Ana Maria. Present. Good. Carlos Eduardo. 
Present. Nice. Eric Guillermo. Present. Perfect. Uh, Stephanie Janet. Present. Good. Fatima Alejandra. Present. Okay. Hilmar Cruz. Present. Good. Jonathan Alexander. Present. Nice. Carla Benazir. Present. Good. Natalie Vanessa. Present. Okay. No, yes. So here. Romeo Alexis. Present. Good. Uh, Rosa del Carmen. Present. Good. Roxana Yesenia. Roxana. Present teacher. Ah, okay. Thank you. Salvador Alfonso. Present. Present teacher. No problem with the collection. Okay. Perdón. No problem, Roxana. No problem. Ah, uh, Stephanie Adeline is not here. Uh, Stephanie uh, Lisette. Present. All right. William Alberto. Present. All right. And Joanny, no, I mean. Present. Okay, very good. Let's keep going with the presentations, the one we had. Okay, we got it in here. Uh, with the negative, okay, uh, things, okay, and, and we were doing that. Okay, now let, let's focus, okay, let's take this apart, let's put this aside. Vamos a cambiar entonces de tema un poco en cuanto a, a oraciones negativas. And now let's focus in time expressions, okay? The topic that we were discussing on Wednesday, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, what do we generally do with time expression in sentences? Remember, cuando usamos expresiones de tiempo, what do we do? Generalmente lo que hacemos es mencionar qué tan frecuente nosotros hacemos ciertas actividades, con qué frecuencia, okay? Uh, specifically uh, in, in in um, in the workplace generally and um, also activities that we do outside the workplace. Uh, we got one example in here. I go to work every day. So in este caso, recordemos, la time expression is every day. La que nos indica con qué frecuencia nosotros hacemos una actividad. Okay, that's pretty much what we got. And then we got another example, and I want Amilcar to help me out. You do your homework weekly. Okay, you do your homework weekly. So you see, la palabra weekly, that's the time expression, like indica con qué frecuencia se hace esa acción. Okay, uh, let's see, Rosa del Carmen. He reads a book every month. Okay, now we change into third person and it says he reads a book every month. Okay, every month. That's like, este en realidad es básicamente como decir monthly. Every month or monthly is the same. Okay. Good. Fatima. Read. Uh, she writes letters to her family every year. Very good. She writes letters to her family every year. Okay, like, like uh, escribe cartas a su familia. Like every year. Cada año. Let's put it that. <laughs> okay. All right. Let's move on. <laughs> Exactly. Lo bueno es que no 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 sabe ahorita qué hemos escuchado. Está en confianza usted. Exactly. Ya ve de las cosas que uno se entera acá. Hmm. Okay. All right. She writes letters to her family every year. So every year, that's the time expression. Okay. That's the time expression. Okay, let's continue. Carlos, <laughs> read the example. Okay. Ya le voy a llevar un poquito también ahí al compañero. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, y, y tú ahí estás así como que, ah, what happened? Okay, este, Carla sometimes 
eats in her office. Ok. Carla sometimes eats in her office. En este caso, recordemos que aparte de las time expressions, tenemos algunas palabras que son eh, catalogadas como uh, frequency adverbs, adverbios de frecuencia que nos indican con qué, valga la redundancia, con qué frecuencia hacemos una actividad. Entonces, por eso eh, tomé a bien incluirlos acá. Solo que, a diferencia de las time expressions, estos no se colocan al final o al principio de una oración. Se colocan antes del verbo principal. ¿Ok? Before the main verb. That's why we said Carla sometimes eats in her office. Uh, we got another example. Natalie, read it. Hey. Eh, Jamilet never works alone. Very good. Jamilet never works alone. Okay, that's great. So in that case, eh, recordemos, ya never también es parte de los frequency adverbs. Por eso va colocado entre el subject y el, y, y, y el verbo. Okay, between the subject and the verb. Okay, good. Do we have any question with this information? ¿Alguna pregunta con esta información? ¿Related to this? No. Ok, nice. Let's go on. Dime esta cosa. All right, so we got how much and how many. All right, and in here, this is part of the topic that we were discussing, if I'm not wrong, um, two days ago. And we says, when do we use how much and when do we use how many? Remember, we use how much with uncountable noun and how many with countable noun, okay? Uncountable and countable noun.